Hi. Hello. Good evening. Today is um, April fifteenth, um, Easter. Good Friday. Yeah. Good Friday. And um, my name is Akufa. Something happened to me this morning. It is strange. It is something that. Uh, criminals or fosters have begun so please be careful I would never do this trust me if it didn't happen to me I will not come here to talk about this so this morning um, I mentioned it did because I wanted to know when it happened this morning before 9 a.m. I was going to Bemakam from Tema so on the uh, Tema crab bound road or uh, route from, uh, on the motorway uh, somebody you know stopped me he was also driving a private car, I think it's Blue Elantra. Um, he stopped, beckoned me to, you know, roll the glass I did, and he said the oil from my engine was, you know, dripping. So as a woman with two kids at the back, I just pulled over, and he also came to cross the car as if he was coming to help me. Indeed, he was clothed like a, a fitter. So, I mean, how would I... Um, doubt you know somebody coming to help me so I pulled over I walked to the to him in fact the only thing I was securing was my phone because you know sometimes people want to help you before you know it they had robbed you so I was, the only thing I was securing was my phone I walked towards this gentleman who obviously looked like a fitter and he said oh the car that I just described blue Elantra he said oh, that was somebody's 40 vehicle that he was, you know, he's driving to his, his um, mechanic shop around uh, opposite um, the mall. The mall, Action. okay, Action mm -hmm. Chapel area. So he asked me to open the bonnet. I did. And I also walked towards him. Then he asked me to come back and ignite the engine. Of course, I obliged. Then he said, oh, I should come and look at the engine oil all over the place. Yes, I saw it. I did, but I didn't see any oil under the vehicle. Then he said, oh, I should just drive slowly. And if I drive fast, the, it will affect the engine. So I should drive slowly. Of course, when somebody talks about your engine going bad, all you think about is cost, cost, cost. So I obliged. And um, he said, then I said, oh, I'm going to be my camp. So can I just, can it take me there? He said, no. So the vehicle can take me to his uh, fitting shop around the mall. So I quickly spoke to a friend, and he said, oh, okay, well, I, I, can, I should go with him. Then when I was going, I, something just came to my thought. I was like, how can this, pardon my language, he was like, young boy, within the age of, I think, 18 to 24, I said, well, if this stupid guy is coming to defraud me, why should I follow him? So I was like, mm. I, I didn't have even one CD on me. So this, I said, no, if I follow this guy and he talks about money, money, I'll be stranded. Remember, I have two kids in, in the vehicle. So um, then later on, you know, we all had our hazard on. But I felt that I could even drive faster than his car. Then I just said, no, I will try and get to the camp. So I, you know, bypassed him. Or I, or I overtook him. Then I rolled the glass and, so, and I just waved like this. I just said, later. Then I drove past. We came home. Fortunately, my sister's um, neighbor is a mechanic he checked the car he and we, we drove to, because there was oil spillage there whether he did it intentionally we just wanted to rule those things out so um we went to another um washing bay we went to a washing bay then they asked them to just wash away the oil from there he wanted to test something whether truly my vehicle had the oil spillage that the gentleman was talking about we checked we drove to the house he used rag to you know dust the area to just keep it dry there was nothing wrong with the vehicle in fact i drove the vehicle to have a space today i've been driving it around so ladies i think they are targeting ladies they did this to my friend yesterday yeah. yesterday evening on the so motorway and they did it to me today it 15th to april me. Yeah. So women, let's be on the yeah. lookout. I'm sure they are targeting women and because the majority don't know anything about yeah. vehicle. We just sit in the car yeah. and go. Yeah. So let's be careful. So, Extremely yeah. careful. So yes. yesterday, basically the same thing happened to me. I met the person in the cab towards the mall uh, when you come in from Legon. So the cab towards the mall. And he pulled me out and said that, well, your engine is dripping. There is a leakage. And then I, 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 well, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. And then he said, oh, he can fix it for me. 
but he said I should open my bonnet just like uh, Alpha, and then I did but I got out of the car very early just to see what he was about then he said no I should go back and then uh, I should go back and um, ignite the engine yeah which I came back to do so I went back to him and he said I should look there is all over the place and I was like ah, there is all what happened and he said, oh, this car, if I drive it, it could just stop. It, would, it won't move again. So I should just do it slowly and follow him. His shop is around the mall and they'll fix it for me. And what got me suspicious was at first he said they'll fix it for me for 120. And I said, you know what? I don't have that. So I will just call our mechanic. And then he said, no, I shouldn't worry. They'll do it for uh, 60 cities. Uh, something to patch it for 40 cities and then they'll top up the oil for 20 cities. So I actually followed him just like a coffer. But somewhere down the, uh, the road, I was like, you know what? I am going to our mechanic. So I just told him I went another way. I, I went through the boundary road and then he came to meet me and I said, no, I'm going to our mechanic. We went, I went to the mechanic and lo and behold, there was nothing wrong with that car absolutely nothing so women ladies girls driving on the motorway especially because this is my very good friend and the probability that it happened to her and me and this i am shocked yeah. i am stunned With so if anybody comes to you hours we have they will tell you things thing. you feel hysterical yeah. be careful yeah. do not follow them yeah. god saved us yeah so do not follow anybody thank you so very we're just much. putting that out there so that women, you will be careful. Yeah. yeah. So thank you and watch out for yourself. Stay blessed. Yeah, bye. bye. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.